friends, it's Miss G again. Thanks for joining me today. Good morning, good morning, my sweet little friends. Good morning, good morning, my special little friends. Hi, I hope you're having a great day. Okay, so we're gonna review all the things we've been talking about in my last few videos. And we're gonna put it all together and we're gonna practice. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is our color, the color red. 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 Can you practice saying red? Red. 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 Great job. Do you have a red shirt on today? You do? That's so awesome. Okay, so if you don't have a red shirt on, can you find something red in the room? Look around. Hmm, do you see anything red? <gasps> you do? What do you see? Oh, great job. Now, when you're out and about today, I want you to find all the red things and say, oh, there's the color red. Okay, sounds good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna look at is our letter. Our letter today is A. 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 Okay, so remember in our alphabet, we have a big mama A and a little baby A. <laughs> we have a capital A and a lowercase a. A, A. Capital A is used at the beginning of a sentence or if your name starts with A, your name might be Adam, or Abigail, or Alicia, or Aaron, or lots of other names. If your name starts with A, then it's gonna be a capital A. And lowercase a's are the letters throughout our name that if there's an A at the end, it's lowercase. Okay, so A can make the sound a, or if we're reading the word A, sometimes it can sound like A, ah, A, ah, A. Ah. Okay, so first I want us to try saying A. Can you say A? A. It's very important that your tongue and your mouth moves like mine does. A. And now we're going to make the other sound that A makes. A. Ah. Ah. Great job. All right, I'm going to say it, then I want you to say it. A. Your turn. Good job. Okay, let's make the other sound. Ah. Your turn. Hop, oh, hop. Good job, guys. Okay, now we're going to practice writing A. So, to write a capital A, we start at our bottom line. And we're going to make a line all the way to the top. And then we're going to go back down. <gasps> yeah. And then we have to connect it right in the middle where our dotted line is. And that is a capital A. A. Now we're going to make the lowercase a. So the lowercase a has a circle and a line, a circle and a line. And it goes lowercase letters go below the dotted line. So we're going to start at the top of the dotted line. We're going to go around to make a circle and then come back down to make our line. So we have a, an uppercase A and a lowercase A. And A can either say its name and say A or it can make the A sound. Yeah, you're learning so much. You're so smart. Next, we're going to talk about our number. So, I know you guys are experts on numbers now because we've learned so much already. So, we're just going to review. So, I'm going to let you guys teach me. What number is this? Hmm. I hear a lot of right answers. And what? How many is that? Can you show me how many is that? Oh, some of you remember. So yes, this is zero. 
zero, zero. And it has no value because if I have zero apples, that means I have no apples. I have nothing, right? If I have zero dollars, which would not be good, then I have no money, right? Zero means nothing. It has no value. So if I had a 10 frame, let's see if I can draw this. If I had a 10 frame, would I color any of those in? No, because I don't have any to color in because there's zero value. There's zero units. Good job. Zero. Next, we're going to talk about our word of the day. Our word of the day is at. At. Now, we just talked about our letter A and that it can make the sound A or A. And listen carefully when we say the word at. You hear that sound? A, A. Yeah, we hear our A at the beginning. At. At. Can you say at? At. At. Okay? All right. Now, we are going to practice writing at. So we're going to do a lowercase a because at is not someone's name and it's not a sentence. So we're going to do a lowercase a and we're going to write a t. We haven't talked about T yet a lot, but we'll get there. So our word is at. Great job, guys. Okay, next we're going to talk about shape. Who can tell me what shape that is? We've learned a lot already about shapes. Who can tell me? That's right, it's a circle. Can you, I'm going to give you just a minute to think about the attributes of a circle, because I think you probably remember, tell me what attributes a circle has. Did you think about it? What did you come up with? Oh, yeah. So, a circle goes around. It has no sides. It has no sides and it has no points, edges or vertices, however you want to say it. And it just goes around, right? We can have big circles and we can have little bitty circles. Like my eye is a circle. My face is kind of like a circle and they're two different sizes, right? Circle. Now we're going to learn a little song. Are you ready to sing? Let's sing. I'm a little circle, nice and round. There are no corners, there are no sides. You can make me roll easily because I'm as round as can be. Great job. You wanna sing again? Okay. I'm a little circle, nice and round. There are no corners, there are no sides. You can make me roll easily because I'm as round as can be. Yay! Good job, guys. Good singing. Okay, so circles have no sides and no corners. Or if we're being fancy mathematicians, no vertices. Okay, the last thing we're going to talk about is a character trait. Okay, so what is character? Character is who we are. It's our morals and our ethics and integrity. It's what defines us as human beings, as people. And we want to be known as really good people that everyone loves and, and values and, and that knows that we do good in the world. Our purpose in life is to go and do good in the world, to spread kindness, to um, 
model to others how to be good people. So, today's character trait is honesty. Have you ever heard that word? It's kind of a big word. Honesty. So, honesty is telling the truth. So, the opposite of each other, there's the truth and there's a lie. The lie means you've told something that's not true. Truth means that you have told the truth. You've told what's true and what really happened. Now, sometimes we don't like to tell the truth because it might get us in trouble, right? When mommy says, did you hit your brother? It's easier to say, nope, because mm -mm, you don't want to get in trouble. But is that the right thing to do? It's not. And I know when you say, no, I didn't, that you feel guilty in your heart. In your heart, you're like, ooh, I just told my mommy something that's not true. It's very important to tell the truth. We may not always like the outcome of the truth. You may have to sit and time out, or you may have to listen to your mommy talk to you about it, but it's better to tell the truth and your mommy to trust you and know that you're an honest, good person than to tell a lie to get yourself out of it. Because a lie just hurts you in the long run and it hurts others. It hurts your brother that you hit. It hurts you because you're not learning how to tell the truth and you're not learning how to be a good person. So... If you ever do catch yourself lying, the best thing to do is to say, you know what, mommy, I didn't tell the truth and my heart hurts and I'm so sorry that I lied. Will you please forgive me and I'll take whatever consequence you have to give me. That is the best way to handle it. Because sometimes in the moment we just make a quick decision. We're like, oh, no, I didn't do it. And then we're like, oh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have told the truth. And that's when you say, I'm so sorry, mommy. Oh, and you have to tell your brother you're sorry too. You say, I'm so sorry, brother. I should have just told mommy the truth that I hit you and I shouldn't have hit you and I shouldn't have lied. And I'm so sorry and I won't do it again. And when you say you won't do it again, no, no, no. You better not do it again. Next time you tell the truth, if you hit someone, you say, oh, I did. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Everyone makes mistakes, but it's how we choose to handle our mistakes that defines who we are and defines our character. So um, we're going to work on being honest. So today, in all you do today, I want you to focus on being honest, telling the truth. And I want you to ask yourself, is that what really happened? Or is that what I told someone what they wanted to hear? Right? Um, Make sure that you're always telling the truth and saying good things and positive things and doing good in the world, okay? So, it's time to go. I really enjoyed you being here today. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe so we can continue our lessons and I'll see you later. Toodaloo!